Hello YouTubers, Zeltrax Millennium back with a review, vlog, or an unboxing. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello YouTubers, Zeltrax Millennium here with Day 3 of Ryuki Week. So now we're taking a look at Kamen Rider Zolda, or if you prefer Dragonite, Kamen Rider Torque. Now... If you're wondering why there is no box behind the guy, simple. He came with no box. So I can't really demonstrate the box, which means this review may be a little shorter. I don't know. Anywho, let's first take a look at the accessories that this dude comes with. First off, let's take a look at his, uh, I think it was called Magnivisor. Um, I might be wrong on that. Feel free to correct me in the comments below. But yeah, this thing is really nicely detailed. I mean, a lot more than the uh, Dragonite version. Oh, one thing that this version has over the Dragonite version. The uh, ammo clip can fold down to, to put in advent cards. Well, not really, because that way this thing would have to be incredibly bigger in order for it to fit advent cards. But still, they included such a small feature into this little tiny gun. I love it for that. Nice detailing and paint all over this thing. And, oh, nice. You can also see the little Zolda symbol right there. And um, the reason why this thing is jutting out is so that way it can hook on to Zolda's belt. Like... So, if I do this on camera. So now, let's take a look at the other accessory he comes with. Is his, uh... I, am co I completely do not remember what the name of this is. I think it's kind of like... I can't remember. I cannot remember in the slightest. So, if anybody would like to tell me just what this giant mammoth cannon is, please let me know in the comments below so I can annotate it in. Anywho, I think it was like, um, shoot the vent or something like that. But if it's called shoot vent, this is a really flippin' big cannon. And of course, if you watch Dragonite and Ryuki, you would know that this is part of Magnu Giga's armor and uh yeah this is this is his his right shoulder i believe yeah i think i might have put this on wrong <clears throat> i might have completely put this on wrong There we go. Or, I don't know. Feel free to comment in the box below to figure out just which direction it's supposed to be. So that way I can flip it back around. Anywho, let's take a look at the figure now. And this guy, out of, well, <coughs> sorry. Out of all of the Ryuki Riders, Zolda is probably my favorite design-wise. I mean... He may not have a lot going on, but he's really cool. Oh, you you of course have to put on his armor. But yeah, his armor looks incredibly detailed, especially for him being the like devastation kind of rider. Because he's got guns popping out all over the place. Even his advent beast Man New Giga has cannons hidden in between his legs. So yeah, articulation wise, same as all the other Shotrak Kenshin, though this guy has a little bit more freedom, I think, a bit. He can look up pretty good. Down, well, that's kind of look at, that's kind of like going at eye level. Shoulders, full 360. Then plops off. And in order for it to move the shoulder pad, in order for you to move the arm any further, you just got to do that. And pop it off. So yeah, nothing really too new about this 
about this uh, Shota Kenshin because it's basically the same body as all the others. You still got to put the armor on. And if you maneuver the figure in a way, I did put that on. I did switch it around wrong. <clears throat> you get to see me do this twice in one video. How fun. I don't even know how they... I, didn't, I don't even know how Zolda used this in the show. I'm going to have to go back and watch Ryuki to find out how. There we go. It's supposed to be like that. So, uh, if you finagle, if you finagle this thing, and trust me, you will have to do a lot of finagling. But if you... Do this right. Excuse me a second. That's the best I can get for him holding his giant cannon. So, is this guy recommended? Yes, he is. If you like Zolda or Torque, he's a very nice addition to track down. So yeah, Zeltrax Millennium saying good night, good luck, and stay tuned for the rest of Ryuki Week, which the next review after this should be Magnu Giga. Later's.